All right, what's going on, everyone? Brian here with a with my Elimination Chamber 2023 Premium Live Event predictions video for tomorrow night's Elimination Chamber Premium Live Event. Of course, one of the big matches will be for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Roman Reigns defends against a very focused Sami Zayn. Who do I see walking out as univer as undisputed U Universal Champion tomorrow night? Um, I believe Roman Reigns will retain. Um, even though Sami Zayn will have home field advantage because he it will be in Montreal. I mean, Sami Zayn could shock a lot of people. He could, and I'm not gonna say that he he won't win. I feel like. WWE, if they really wanted to shock the crowd, they would really they would pull they would put Sami Zayn over. But this is Roman Reigns he's facing, and Roman has not lost in what three years? Over three over three years now, uh, and I mean it is you know it is what it is so. Um, I believe that Roman Reigns will retain the championship. The question is, what role will the rest of the bloodline play? What role will Jey Uso play in this one? You know, all, we'll have to wait and see. But I believe Roman Reigns will remain undisputed WWE Universal Champion. And will head into WrestleMania to defend against Cody Rhodes, the winner of the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble. Another big match with WrestleMania implications will be the Elimination Chamber match for a shot at the Raw Women's Championship and Bianca Belair at WrestleMania as six of WWE's toughest women will compete inside the Elimination Chamber. It will be Asuka, Liv Morgan, Nikki Cross, Raquel Rodriguez, Natalia, and Carmella all vying for an opportunity to challenge Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. Now, I'm going to give two predictions for this one because I believe there I have two favorites in this match that I feel like they should win this one, and that is Asuka and Raquel Rodriguez. Uh, Raquel, obviously, because she could match power and strength with Bianca Belair. Asuka has that unorthodox style of hers that makes you know her a legitimate cha to a challenge for Bianca Belair. No disrespect to Natalia, Carmella, Nikki Cross, or Liv Morgan. One of those four could win this. But I'm going to go with either Asuka or Raquel Rodriguez to win this Elimination Chamber match. Another big Elimination Chamber match that happens tomorrow night will be for the United States Championship as Austin Theory defends against Seth Freakin' Rollins, Johnny Gargano, Bronson Reed, Damian Priest, and Montez Ford. Now this, is a, this one's going to be a tough test for Austin Theory. He, he better hope that he enters the chamber last. He comes out of the, one of those pods last. Because if he starts this, if he has to start this match, and let's say he starts with someone like a Bronson Reed or Seth freaking Rollins or or Johnny Gargano or one of the other, or uh, Damian Priest or Montez Ford, they're going to give him, they're going, they're going, they're going, uh, they're not going to play any games. So, but... Who do I see winning? Hmm. You know what? I am actually going to go with I be, I'm 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 kind of thinking that theory they're going to keep the belt on theory on Austin theory. But I'm going to actually go with and I know this is a bit of a long shot. But I'm going to go with Montez Ford to win this one. I think this is his time to shine. Um, he's going to be in there by himself. He's going to, you know, he's going to have to show that he is 
ready for that opportunity. And I'm going to say Montez Ford walks out as the United States champion, even though I feel like they're going to keep the belt on Austin Theory. But I'm going to say Montez Ford becomes the new champion. That's my prediction. All right. One, another big match happening tomorrow night will be a mixed tag team match in which it will be Edge and Beth Phoenix going against the Judgment Days, Finn Balor, and Rhea Ripley. And who, of course, we all we know, everybody knows that will, Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley will probably have Dominic in their, in their corner. Uh, Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley will probably have Dominic in their corner. So that's going to kind of give them, depending on the order of these matches, I feel like that's what's going to happen. I think Damien will probably be focusing on the Elimination Chamber match. And I think Dominic will be in Rhea and Finn Balor's corner, of course. So that's going to kind of give an advantage to Edge and Beth Phoenix. Um, I'm going to go with Edge and Beth to win this one. I really do. I'm I'm even though I I think that they're I think Dominic is going to play a role in the ending. I think he's going to he's going to help Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley win. But I feel like Edge and Beth Phoenix need this win more because it'll it'll give them it'll give them revenge on Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley and and that's why I think they'll they're going to win tomorrow night. Now, of course, and then of course, this the one last one here is going to be Bobby Lashley going against the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. These two have been going at it for months. I mean, Lesnar beat Lashley the last time, or was it? Yeah, I think it was Lashley beat Le or La yeah Lesnar beat Lashley. Lashley beat Lesnar, and then, uh, and then now this is the third match in the series. And who do I see winning? I'm going with Bobby Lashley on this one. Uh, I think Lashley is going to win this one and be, be the victor tomorrow night. However, there is a a bit of a twist with this matchup and and the possibility of someone of who's who could be waiting in the wings for either one and that would be Bray Wyatt because on tonight's episode of Smackdown which I I did watch but I didn't do a uh, a review of it or recap of it Bray Wyatt made his intentions known that Whoever wins between Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar may find themselves being targeted next by Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy. So that's going to be interesting to see what, what how that what transpires with that. But uh, yeah, there that is the card. There's only five matches advertised. Um. So yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it's a good show. Hopefully it's somewhat something decent. Um, WWE does have a lot, of, a lot of events that happen tend to have like you have one good one and then you have a, a bad one next time, the next month, and then it's bet you know you have a couple bad ones after that and then it's like you have a good one. So hopefully Elimination Chamber is good tomorrow night. Um, so yeah, this has been my. Elimination Chamber 2023 Premium Live Event Predictions for tomorrow night's event. As always, I am Brian, and for those of you that are planning on watching Elimination Chamber tomorrow night, let me know who you guys think are going to walk out victorious tomorrow night. And uh, I will see you next time. See ya.